Hopefully it has Twitch integration. Keen eyes see everything that moves in the water. And when a fish swims by, he strikes. And seizes the fish with his bill. What happened to this background? Well, what timing? I just finished eating my toast. That's bad. 40 minute break. I didn't realize that this game had Twitch integration though. Press any key to start. Right. the category uh, give that a go what's this button <laughs> um well let me type there we go. Well, let me shift type. Okay, lowercase only. Has that worked? Do I have to type the whole thing in? Or has that worked? I don't know what to expect. Do I have to type the whole thing? Like twitch.tv slash boardbrain? Maybe we'll try that. Okay, we can't do that. Did that work? I just realized, yes, hang on, we had to reconnect. Let me refresh everything. Um, I don't want to have to Google what to do, but... If I hit enter... put a 60 second delay that's honestly 60 seconds is long enough for me to forget Okay, it might be a default audio game. I 
loathe programs that are default audio driver only just he'll do what I say you do do or I would love to find and this is the thing like I I need a program that fixes the problem of these games not playing the audio through the right device Is there an in-game audio setting? That looks like it hasn't saved. How do I do this? I don't want to have to Google it. Okay, icons. Good. Multiplayer special missions. Is there an audio device? No. So then I have to quit and I have to change my default audio device before booting the game up. Yay, I love doing that. Okay. Let's reset every time. Alright. Special missions. Okay. Your victories aboard the Alephros mean that we can now deploy via teleport. You can now access explored areas of the Alephros from here to complete additional missions. You know, just hearing a regular, really, really run of the mill audio filter applied to the Mechanicus. Um. I gotta say, audio quality on the on these games has gone up since Deathwing. How do I change my character? I don't want to be the librarian. Why do I get the feeling? The audio design in this is going to leave a lot to be desired. I'm very confused though. Why can't I pick my character? I thought that was a thing. I thought the special missions let you pick your character. Brothers, you're being sent back to the Alethros in order to complete an urgent extra mission. Bring glory to the chapter. For the lion! Okay. Uh, 
Is there any reason why you wouldn't take the power fist? It's just a better version of the hammer. It's just the hammer looks cooler. The slightly more damage has nowhere near enough anti-armor. Faster? No explosion? Like... I, okay, that's a interesting thing. Um, the redemption, the heavy flame, and the spear of Caliban is a gun, not a spear. Okay, lightning claws, storm bolter, Mark two, spear of Caliban. The plasma cannon has been modified by adding energy cells to increase its fire rate. Given the enemy consumed, the plasma blasts cause less damage and have a more limited explosion radius. I'm gonna go Flamer. All fallen allies. Okay. You will be that, and you will be that. This is acceptable. Sensitivity is very high. I can almost do like a 360 and I, yeah, no, I can easily do a 360 in one move. Get that fixed. Uh, there. Mouse sensitivity down to 24. Apply. Cool. Still too high. Okay. Mouse sensitivity 15%. A little better. Off we go. Xenos are currently in possession of a consignment of materials paramount to the Death Queen. Recover it and bring it back to the bridgehead. Stuttering audio. Not a good start. Warriors drain in sight. Warriors The uh, audio is stuttering pretty bad, huh?
So I see the thing on my screen. I think it's typing A or B. It does it? Activate all turrets. Forgot that was a mechanic even. Stuttering audio. That, honestly, we've put up with some. Oh, okay. So the timer is how frequently? Every sixty seconds, we get a vote. If anything's gonna kill a game for me, it's not gonna be visual quality. It's gonna be audio. Yeah, the audio stuttering to me is worse than any visual glitch. That's unbearable. Maybe it's just today? OBS is having hissy fits as well. How do I order a medic? How do me? L. L is heal me. Okay. We have a hotkey for it. Weapons gem set stealer's color. Interesting. But I don't think we're gonna stick with this. The stuttering audio kills it. So it's not so bad. It's interesting. If I was planning, I'd, I'd probably plan to stream this so that people could actually come along. But if it's gonna run like this, then I'm gonna have to gut some settings, but it didn't look like there were a lot of settings there. Anytime I actually use the flamer...
the audio is not working out. This, to me, like, No Man's Sky is fine, right? But No Man's Sky doesn't stutter and pick up in the audio. Limited time to do these missions too. The activator turrets. Oh, there's a benefit. It's to uh, just along here. The visuals are dipping as well. Somehow this is running better than No Man's Sky, but worse. I don't like it. It's a very pretty game too, it would be a shame to turn a lot of these settings down, but I suppose that is something to try. High, medium, medium. It's a very dark and moody game, so we'll try medium textures, shall we? No, I can already see that. That's terrible. It's like the first game. A bad one. Tried to look good, but didn't. Instead of going for cartoony, pure, perfective art style. Um. We'll see. Because I suppose the one thing. Locked. saw that and I just didn't react to it. The difficulty is not as tricky as I remember. We just have to stay here. Still steal his health. Justice. Justice. God, the animation of that is so long, I can't cancel it. a little better because the audio is stuttering as well. Does this game have music? Stuttering again. Uh, well, once this mission's over, that's probably it for this game. We tried it! Can't say we didn't.
Inquisitor could have the auto cannon, I would totally have the auto cannon right now. Alright, so we're at the point now where we're gonna test how bad the settings are actually on the We'll try that. Texture quality, everything else on low. Textures are good. Even, you might say, fancy. Oh, he just dies. Activate friendly fire. I love it. Remember if I play this on a harder difficulty, but it feels like it. Yellow terminators, there you go. I was gonna say I didn't request that one. Your shadows are amazing, but it's fine. If the game runs okay, I wouldn't mind doing this sometime later, right? At another point. It's very easy. We just haven't got the big one yet, or if we definitely play the big one. I don't know if that guy is being Zenos a scary thing. Fortify your soul. Zenos sorcery. Fortify your soul. Kind of pretty, even with everything else turned down. We are the angels of Minimap is meant to be way more utilized than what I'm doing. Oh, Terminator's left arm. Lovely. I've done a lap. 
done an entire lap of the place. coming here too. What am I doing wrong? What's going on? Now we're back at the start. Change your weapons? We're never gonna beat this, I'm actually gonna have to do this with. And it's not even challenging, you just lightly roast the bugs and they die. If we ever get it working properly, then maybe we'll be able to get it into I'm not the day, it seems.
Look, what else are we gonna try out? I feel like the rest of the night tonight is gonna be crazy wonky things. Let's pick random games. This one didn't work out. Not that I can even find any of these places. damage immunity, 3 is damage reflection. 3 is shorter time than 2. is so pretty. Like, the visual design is insanely impressive. It just sucks that it chews up so much CPU. Why don't video games insist on using CPU? And the fact you have to... Mm, I'm gonna have to make a Steam category that just says default audio device only. Why every time I start up a game in that category? Oh no! it? That's the whole mission? Wait. That- I'm confused. We had so many markers left on the map. That was that mission. That was the whole mission? Right. Well... Yeah, our audio did leave a lot to be desired. Right. Sector 4. 3, 2, 1. Got it. So what is this, like the bonus one? Sector 0? Okay. Um... If we want to continue... does leave a lot to be desired. Okay, the music though. M music? Right. 
Well, that was Space Hulk Deathwing. I... I don't know. I guess we can try it out later, but... Also, now I know that longer isn't... It's not the delay between events. It's the actual... Uh, well, it might be the delay between events, but... It also might affect the length of the vote as well. Um... Right. So... That was interesting. Thing a thousand and thousand. Um, I could host to friendly fire codex rules force enabled. Codex rules can't change your class during the mission. Can't change your equipment during the mission. All skills and equipment are unlocked from the start. The spawn time is 240 seconds, but I play as the... The Inquisitor can resurrect both people at the same time, and he's damage immune. So in a pinch, if he has all his abilities up, he should be able to buy enough time to run the cooldown for his respawn call-in. In a pinch, I think... So long as the Inquisitor has all his cooldowns set to go. I think he can solo save the game. But that was interesting. I, I, yeah, I, I that was interesting. Well, we played it. Hey, look at that. We played Deathwing. We can cross that off our list. What do we do now? What random game do we play that we haven't played before? I need something. I I was in a shooty mood, but that was very lackluster. I still feel like I'm kind of in a shooty mood, but I don't have many shooty games, and a lot of them are like super slow paced and moody, which Deathwing is as well, but it's in point. But what do we play then? We could become John Wick and Watch Dogs. They help to keep our waters clean. Mm. And they follow ships for the food that sailors or passengers throw. I actually don't know what to play. But finally, after having considered the matter duly, they begin to pair off. Uh, are you with me first, would you? I would mean first. You haven't I'm had not done to streaming. I don't know what to switch to.
I mean, hey, we have No Man's Sky as a backup, right? There's a lot of games in here I've seen other people playing too. Apparently I put 28 hours into Stranded Deep. Which is more hours than I put into the Stanley Parable to beat it. 24 hours into Wingspan. 22 hours into the forest. Do I have any other Warhammer games? Warhammer Vermintide, Deathwing, Total War, Warhammer 2, Battlefleet, Gothic Armada, Horus Heresy Legions, Blood Bowl 2, Blood Bowl Death Zone, Deathwing Classic, Talisman Digital Edition, Dawn of War, Game of the Year, Dawn of War Dark Crusade, Lord of War Winter Assault, Warhammer Underworlds Online, Warhammer Quest, I don't know how many of these are here as a joke, Chaos Bane I got from Humble Bundle last year, Kill Team, 40,000 Inquisitor Prophecy, Inquisitor Martyr, Eternal Crusade, Mechanicus is like the only good one I own. There might be a couple of like niche ones like from different genres. I'm I'm sure the Horus Heresy is a card game, right? I'm sure it's fine if you wanna Warhammer card game, but I'm fine not playing a Warhammer card game. But I am really actually just stumped. Do I need to pick one of those random choice roll wheels? They could give me anything though, they could give me garbage. Mechanicus! I mean, it's a thinky game, but I, I kind of want to do like an action-y game. I spent the whole night driving. We need to figure out what is like the shooty or... What's another version of driving? I'm, I'm still in that kind of mood, a high energy mood. The curse of having a supremely low energy Steam library. No matter how hard you look, all of your games are like. And it's just me. Not mid, like quality, not mid contextually, even. It's, it's just mid if I uh, mid for what I'm looking for. Synthetic would be nice. Are you allowed to stream South Park the Stick of Truth? Let's scroll down. Where are we? Random window. Let's have a look. Games we've played very little of. It's 
Starting out Trials Fusion. That's a fat lie. I have played hours of this because it was my first Steam game I ever owned. The story goes that I bought the game and just played it in offline mode because I didn't have internet. I bought it back when you could buy Steam codes at GameStop. We bought it back then. I put the code... I went to the library, I think, to activate it or something silly. And basically all I had to do was connect my computer to the internet once. So I spent like $4 of internet data back then to connect the machine at home via mobile hotspot. And then got my license, downloaded the game. I think I downloaded the game either at school or at the library again onto USB, which I used the backup and recovery system to put onto the machine at home. It was a very convoluted system, but not having internet requires a bit of ingenuity. Um, of course, not having internet means Steam had no idea I was clocking hours after this thing. I played it again recently, hence the one minute. It really is a fonder memory than I think a game, uh, than, I, than I enjoyed it. it it's it has aged i'd like to try some more of the more recent ones i feel like the more recent installations in the franchise might hold up better because this one felt very interesting very interesting to play what is this a lady horror game okay X, a Daniel Mullins game. What were his recommended Daniel Mullins game? Is that the fucking logo that he... Did he gift that to me? I swear, he had that face as his Discord icon for a while. Let's have a look. There are games here I don't even have. Currently have Woodcutter Simulator 2013. I think I bought that before I played those games unironically. Digby! Yeah, I remember Digby, Digby Extreme. It was my cope before they put, they finally put Mr. Driller onto the store. Digby was like my, oh, I hope it's like Mr. Driller, and it wasn't, and I played three minutes of the game. China of Light. I remember owning that game ages ago. And now I'm just going through basically history books. Risk of Rain 2. Played it for five minutes. Uh, bought it for those five minutes because it kept detecting the racing wheel and I was too stubborn to unplug the racing wheel. I actually will find Risk of Rain 1 further up here all of the mini clip games that we've never actually played because the multiplayer never worked. Brink for seven minutes. I own that on Xbox actually and I really liked it but I bought it on PC and apparently it runs worse and also didn't have a multiplayer scene uh, considering the game I believe didn't have a single player mode from memory. That was a little awkward. I played seven minutes of Apex Legends. And I think that was to connect my EA account. Because it's free. Sorry, I'll get the hiccups. Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. It's honored for eight minutes. I must have played that in offline mode because I got pretty far in Dishonored. Bounty Train, I think I tried it out, but that also seems... Maybe I'm thinking of a different train game, but that seems a little low. Black Ink. I paid a lot of money for that program, and I've never used it. Hell yeah! I bought that game years and years and years ago. We're going back to like the 2012s when I first had a, even before then, the 2008s and 9s. I 
<laughs> Seven days to die in a dedicated server. I was about to say 12 minutes, that's wrong. But the dedicated server, that's probably fine. Duelist, now a defunct. Sad. Fin tires, 17 minutes where I desperately tried to love the game but just couldn't. It, it really doesn't seem to be great. The new versions of the game, probably people say they're fine, but yum, 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 yum. XO1 Prologue, I recommend the full release. It's apparently been out for a little while and I didn't know. This one's pretty neat. It's an endless dungeon shooter where you keep basically running the gauntlet. But, catch is, there is no end game. You just keep shooting, and then you keep getting more enemies, and shooting those too. It, it is, uh, there's no end game, there's no scale. You don't ever get to like a, like a lot of those light rogues that you end up seeing, you, you get to the nuclear point. Where either you or the enemies are nuclear and can kill each other very quickly. It doesn't happen here. You just get more bad guys, but they're the same bad guys. It's just adding like an extra five every time you clear an area. It's fine. I like it. I think it has potential. But to meet that potential, it's going to need to develop an endgame. Ah, my first game I ever bought that just disappeared on me. Starforge! I played for 24 minutes, um, and then like the week following after I bought it, the devs were like, yeah, we're, um, bye. Everyone was complaining about it. Rock of Ages! I love this game. Buy this game. Play this game. It's great. You're a rock. You throw your rock at the other castle, and you defeat the other castle first. You run over people and destroy buildings, but you are the rock. Let's see. The Mentium 2 HD. This is insanely different to the DS game I had. And there you go. Risk of Rain 1, 37 minutes. I got confused in that one too, but at least it, it made it me less confused apparently. Heaven's Vault. Great puzzle game, but I played 38 minutes and dipped because the intro uh, is a lot slower than the demo takes to get warmed up. The demo, honestly, had a great opener. You walk up to a building and then you just basically get lost in the puzzles of that building. It is amazing. As a demo, it's the perfect selling point, but I, now playing through the actual main game, I'm very worried that it's going to be the highlight of the entire game and not just a East of what's to come. Ace Combat 7 is another game I want to play a lot of too. I feel like I didn't give it as good a try as I hoped. I basically opened it, tested the settings out, configured everything, and closed it again. Pull of Virus Gunslinger is a great arcade shooter. I've not beat the story, and those 47 minutes have been spent doing like minute 30 arcade runs, taking in turns between me and my partner. We would basically verse each other until he just doubled my score one time and I have no chance of getting that back. <laughs> Wasteland 2 and Stasis are on my to-do list. They're both isometric. I, I, Wasteland 2 is not isometric, I don't think. Um, but Stasis, I think, goes from that more classic CRPG. Did I say classic, classic RPG? We'll gloss over that. Still... Stasis was billed as like a horror game, but I think it's one of those psychological type horrors, not a boo jump scare horror. And as a top down game, that's probably fine. Wasteland, I think, was just billed as a great game. The Fallout 3 we maybe never got. Call of Virus, Gunslinger, we went through. Super Liminal, I do want to play sometime. I think I had someone buy me Island of Nine, and it died. The week following, no one was playing. It was popular. I remember it was either, even um, like big FPS players were playing Isla Nine. I think that was like an advertising deal, but it was very short lived. And when the game lost 
you know, when the contract was up, everyone seemed to just not mention the game again. Up went, played one game. It seems all right. What else do we have? Is that the Hitman reboot? Yeah, I've only got an hour in the Hitman reboot. Due process is good. I like due process, but I I don't play those sorts of games unless I have a pre-made team. No more room in hell. I remember being hellish to play, but I don't remember if that was the difficulty or the game just sucked. It's a puzzle game, I wanted to go through. There's four of them. I wanted to go through all four and stream. I thought they were new. We need to quicken this up and we need to find something that takes our fancy. I genuinely don't think I have anything in my library that's gonna fit what I have in the mood for today. Do we concede? It's been 20 minutes we've been staring at this. Do we concede and do we just open No Man's Sky? Bullets is a neat game. So is Islanders. Only Island, another Daniel Mullins game. Now we are squarely into the category of games I remember playing. Apparently, I own Deadcore. Am I thinking of Dead Cell? No. I'm definitely not thinking of Dead Cell. Rain World, weirdly published by Adult Swim. It, it's such a coolly unique atmospheric game. It is so brutal though. And I genuinely recommend you go give it a look. It's really cool game. It's nothing anything like of any effort. Like it's unique enough in its tiny details that I think it beats other 2D platformers. Because yes, it's a 2D platformer. There are 2D platforming puzzles, but I do think Rain World has so many unique twists to it that it genuinely plays like nothing else I've ever played. Did I, wait, did I beat Soma in three hours? There is no way I beat Soma in three hours. I did play a lot of Make Your Kingdom Prologue, that's a neat game. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy the full version, three hours of the demo. I was kind of happy to leave it there. Niche, interesting genetics game. Not like Spore, but definitely taking... it wears Spore on its shoulder. Receiver franchise, always good. Start with Receiver 2 if you like it. You might like Receiver 1, but it's a bit older. Tracks, nice playground. Peglin, always recommend. Okay, at this point, I'm just reviewing my own library. I don't think there's anything here that's lighting my fancy, though. Crush Bandicoot's installed. 
Replay Crash Bandicoot is Quake still installed? No. And I beat. I beat Kane and Lynch. That was. Drilla! There it is. I, I bought Digby Extreme because I wanted to. Hey, Tim. Welcome in. <laughs> I know the picture in picture probably actually does look like a, a VOD or a clip, doesn't it? No, that's just my Steam library. Um, I remember buying Digby Extreme because I wanted Driller. Now, this isn't the Driller I remember. The Driller I remember was just Mr. Driller, and it was a port of the arcade machine onto the PlayStation 1. Absolutely adored it. Best game that never got sold in the US. And I finally found it on Steam. Mr. Driller Drill Land is like the penultimate collection of all the game modes from the franchise. Long story short, Tim, we're looking for a game to play because I was kind of in like an action-y mood. So I booted up Space Hawk Deathwing and it didn't cooperate with OBS. The audio stuttered. And ran like garbage. The game, okay, the game ran okay. I'll say this Space Hog Deathwing ran better than No Man's Sky, but the audio stuttering was a killer. I'm not playing a game with audio stuttering. <clears throat> I do have the timer still going. That's how long I've been staring at games. We need to pick one. Abduction, I have so many puzzle games I want to play on stream too. But I don't want to play like a slow puzzle game. I want to do a thing. Like we spent the whole night driving, but I really feel like we're going to end up back in a driving game or we're just going to boot up um, No Man's Sky again. I want to do a game, like a, a thing. I don't just want to sit back and chill. If you have any suggestions, absolutely. We have a few here. Pick Crash Bandicoot. It's not a bad pick. It's in like my top five that I've seen so far. Mechanicus is in, the, like, okay, so, like, games I've seen that I would like to play. Mechanicus, Crash Bandicoot. I thought about Ancestors, but it's less action-y, it's more survival. Still, I, you know, I guess, it, for lack of anything else being there, it's in the top five. Red Out was in there. I thought about playing Red Out. Just because I haven't played it in a while, and also because it is so much fun. And, I mean, I'm not opposed to doing more racing games. Doesn't have um, the wheel. You couldn't race Red Out with a wheel. So the benefit being is I wouldn't have the clunky force feedback happening since I ran out of the timer on my crisp audio. Last play, January 20th, 2020. There you go. I remember, even back then, a lot had changed about that game. Where were we? Stanley Parable, too. I have the one last achievement. One last achievement for Stanley Parable is to play the game for the entire duration of a Tuesday. So, come Monday afternoon, we're going to boot up the game and we're going to stream Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday and you guessed it! I'm just going to go to bed and leave the game running. Is that bad? Is that, I mean, that's been every single 24 hour challenge I've ever done. I've sat here and I've chat and I've had a conversation but then it's like, yeah, okay, good luck. We're staring at this now for the next 14 hours. I did it in Valheim with the bridge collapsing twice. Um, and then we did it in something else as well. 
Two votes for Crash Bandicoot means that's in the lead though. But we're up to our double digit hours now. These are games I've definitely played and enjoyed. You could say anything above 20 hours is an endorsement. Anything above 50 is loved. I would say go play any of these games, right? And within, you know, you may not like the genre, you may know it's not your kind of game. There's one exception. That game doesn't exist. Um, we have no man's- there we are, we're at the top. Most played games. Deep Rock was purchased this year. It's in the top three rows. How's that? Competing with juggernauts that I've had for five plus years, like American Truck Simulator, Car Mechanic Simulator. The games where I play like four hours occasionally, but four hours every week for four years, you, you start stacking up those counts. Valheim's also getting dangerously close to overtaking first spot, and that's a big no-no. We need to fix that. Oblivion needs a couple of hundred hours added to it, I think. Planet Side 2. I played that recently, but I put all of those hours, all 180 of those 184 hours, were done seven or eight years ago at this point. I've not touched it since. From the top, Oblivion, unequivocally, absolutely. Valheim, well, I mean, obviously. It, yeah, it, it's a. Uh, I'm phased. I'm phased off of it at the moment. I think is how I'll phrase it. If I were going to manually curate this order, Valheim would be like here, you know, like it would still be very high up, but it's definitely not my second favorite. It's just my second most played. Hunter, that's my niche nerd pick. Sports sim, honestly, badly, is a lot of my life. Really. Counter Strike, best shooter, hands down. Nothing beats Counter Strike. It's got the best recoil management and the best spray pattern management in any shooter ever. Halo 4 tried to imitate it, but screwed up so royally in every other department, especially given that they were selling a single player story driven shooter game. They fucked up the single player story part. No one cared if the shooting was okay, except me. <clears throat> Realm Grinder, that's literally just, I need to open Steam Browser. So I open Realm Grinder and do stuff in Steam Browser with it. Uh, Fallout 4, I don't recommend Fallout 4, but I do recommend modding everything. In Just mod your own game. It's a shell of a wasteland survival experience. Mod your stuff on top. Amazing. Grand Theft Auto 5, I put many hours into that. Played and beat the story and then played. Just drive around as a citizen. Um, which Crash game is it? I could play either the old or the new. So I have the Insane Trilogy. <clears throat> I have the Insane Trilogy, but I also have the discs and a PS1 and, and you know, I've ripped the ROMs off the disc. So we could play the classic. Or we can play the remake. I absolutely recommend Kingdom Come, but it's a bit jank. Made in CryEngine. Grand Theft Auto 4, probably my favourite Grand Theft Auto game. Eco, 288 hours of multiplayer, but still it's a decent town management city builder. City builder first person perspective, like you are building a city, but it is like you're living in it as well. It's interesting. And sandbox. Payday 2, I actually might not even, I might not recommend Payday 2 anymore. The Payday gang is now the, just the, just everyone. It's, the whole town's in on the Payday, everyone is just a criminal, and everyone is robbing every bank, including the bank owners. What's Subnautica Online? Down here. Subnautica Online is a mod called Nitrox. It was broken a year and a half ago by an update to Subnautica. But it is just a multiplayer lot mod for the game. It wasn't perfect, but the fact it broke a year and a half ago, that version that I have here, because this isn't a Steam item, 
the version I have here won't work because this mod needed to be updated with different all-ins, basically. The game had new files and the mod needs to reference those new files or else it won't work. But if I ever get it working, it would be neat. Give someone else a copy of Nitrox and uh, we could do multiplayer Subnautica. The reboot trilogy? Wait, you chank. Well, you're not gonna- yeah, you're bolting on multiplayer onto a system that was never intended for it. I don't mind a bit of jank, though. If it works, jank is fine. If it causes game crashing issues, then jank is not that fine. The elephant in the room. Yes, I have 200 hours in Bejeweled. Fight me. Factorio, absolutely recommended. Great factory builder. It's the kind of brain worms I don't really have. I, I cannot figure out. There's like a certain level of... There's a certain level of the tism you need to play Factorio that I can't compete with. I apparently am lightweight tisms, and seeing what people do in Factorio is insane to me. I just make really inefficient things because I start and stop it. If it works, don't touch it. Go somewhere else, do something else. That thing works, don't touch it. And I'll have people come in and just completely redestroy my factories and put them into like half the amount of space. Give me all these super efficient things and it's like, but my factory. I like my factory. <laughs> now it's gone. There's a couple of games here I wouldn't recommend just because it's me being a nerd. That, yeah, don't recommend it. Like, unless you're really, really into tycoon games and driving. If you like sightseeing, there's a sales pitch, but at its core, it's a business simulator where you run and manage your own business as a truck freight carrier. It's a freight sim, basically, but you get the first person experience as well. It, it's really like there, there are some of these that struggle to qualify as game. They have gamey mechanics, sure, but you know, business sim, I suppose, is its own thing. But to me, it's like, I can't really recommend that. I just have lots of hours because I'm a nerd. Like I said, I have the lightism, but not enough for Factorio. Where did we leave Crash Bandicoot, by the way? Do you get flagged for Crash Bandicoot music now? Knowing Activision Blizzard King, I wouldn't be surprised. I also have Crash Bandicoot's, like, successor, Iron Fish. It's not Crash Bandicoot. Look, it brings back, like, the same feeling, okay? That's that's my only comment on that statement. I have actually genuinely lost Crash Bandicoot. How many hours have I played? Is it down near the two-hour lot? I know I've at least opened it. This, there is no way I've played Backbone Prologue more than I've... When the males arrive on their nesting ground, the scatter. I'm just not Each seeing it. And I'm being weird and not just typing it in the search bar. Alright, if I, if I don't catch it on my way to the top, with are just searching for it. I also apparently have a frog in my throat that I can't get rid of to save my life. It should be one in from the right, because it was on the right before. Everything has been shifted along. I found it four hours. I knew it was higher up than two. We're going to have to feed the audio through. And search it on the side. I read that a bit too late, I think. Here's the question, though. Where's my controller? 
about playing this on keyboard and mouse, although it's gonna feel weird being on Xbox. Right? I know there's a couple of games where I do that preemptively. Nope. I also don't know how it's going to run, either. It's also in a window? I loathe games that do default output device. Right, well, let's see if it can be configured in the game menu, shall we? Graphics, windowed full screen, V-Sync off, motion blur off, anti-aliasing off, shadow resolution, depth of field off, the blur. Why? Right. Well, license. A full version of the software license agreement is available and privacy policy is available. You accept the software license agreement. Okay. The fact you have that is just... Ugh. Well, why are you bringing me back here? It runs okay. Now we just have to do this really infuriating thing where some games just refuse to listen to whatever device you want to have the audio play through and instead insist that your default audio output device is the one you want. What if I have 5.7 surround sound speakers, but I have shitty little earbuds for a Discord call I'm in? I don't want 5.7 surround sound speakers playing my Discord call, but I might want it playing Crash Bandicoot. 